This is a Tunchiri treadmill and it's got a fault with the motor as we've discovered. This one, we were running it and uh, all of a sudden there was a flash and the motor stopped working. So we can be pretty sure that the motor's faulty. Um, and we can prove that with a test meter. Besides seeing the flash and the sparks and the smoke, we're just going to test that out by putting the test meter onto ohms. And we're going to measure the, the, what's going on with the motor. So these are the motor wires here. And first of all, we'll just measure the resistance of the windings, which is on this particular one, 1.92 ohms, which is perfectly fine. So if you did that test, you think, well, the motor's okay. Uh, clearly it's not, because it's sparked. So there's another test we can do. We can test the windings to earth. So I'm going to put one probe now on, on a good earth, which, for example, is there, and the other one on one of the parts of the windings. And now this should be a really, really high resistance. It should be almost, should be open circuit. And we're actually measuring 157.8 ohms, which is, in the scheme of things, really quite low. So what that means from a diagnosis point of view, we can say, well, the windings are shorted to earth, pretty much. It's as near as shorted to earth, which means that if we were to put our test box on to test the motor, we would at least blow the fuse in our test box, or we might blow the, the fuse on the, the ring main that the test box was connected to. So we're not going to do that. Uh, the motor's no good, and that would be a robust test. Let's say you didn't see any sparking and flashing. If you were to do those two tests and got a failure, you wouldn't proceed any further. So, failed motor. What we don't know is whether the control board is okay or not. This is the motor control board on this treadmill. So what we've done to test it is we've got our test lamp, our bulkhead test lamp here, and we've connected it onto the output where the motor would normally be. And it's because if you were to use a meter, some meters just don't draw enough current whilst they're doing their testing to be able to discharge the capacitor, which means you can get a false reading if you, if you re rely purely on the meter. You can put your test probes on, and sometimes you'll measure maybe 250, 300 volts because you'll be measuring the charge on the capacitor and get a false reading. Whereas if you use a bulkhead light or something that gives an electrical load, it discharges the capacitor, and then you can, you can do your measurement. And also the advantage of the bulb is it will, it will glow. So if the, test, if the output's working, the bulb will glow and it will glow brighter as you speed the machine up. So if you switch that on then, John, let's just see what we've got on this. And don't forget you need to kick the running belt over because the motor's faulty. We need to keep the machine running to fool it into thinking that everything's fine. So at a low speed, you can see the bulb here is glowing dimly. And if, John, if you put the speed up, you see it gets brighter. And then if you put the speed down on the con console, the bulb then gets dimmer. There's a little bit of uh, lag in the response because it, the MCB will obviously accelerate and decelerate at a slightly slower rate than the console numbers. And there you go, it's starting to dim. So. We can deduce from that test that the control board is working perfectly fine and that's good to go. So on this machine we need to replace the motor.